Sawe Disgibili and welcome to your next interpretari. Today we'll be translating Latona at Niobe, chapter 6. This is the story of a very powerful goddess and um, a young woman who is prideful, believing that she should be worshipped more than the goddess. Um, and we'll see that, quite like Minerva and Arachne, the young woman will suffer for her pride. So we'll go ahead and begin with paragraph 1. I will read and translate for you the first three sentences, and you'll go on to translate the rest on your own. Poeta Oidas, Fabulam, de Dea Latona, et de Famina, Niobe Narat, Niobe Regina Thebarum, et Superba, Arat Superba quod septum filios, et septum filias habitat, se et liberos, suos ladabat, causa superbiae, meae, non est potentia familiae et amicorum, sed fama liberorum meorum. So the first sentence here, Poeta Oidas, begins with our nominative, the poet Ovid. And then we need to look for our verb, which is as we suspected at the end of the sentence. So we have the poet Ovidus Narat tells a fabulam, a story, de, about, this is our object of the preposition, de Latona et de famina le Niobe, about a goddess Latona and about a woman named Niobe. Then he goes on to tell us who Niobe is. Niobe regina thebarum et erat superba. Niobe was the queen of the Thebans, and she was very prideful. At the beginning of our next sentence, we have our verb, erat, meaning she was, superba, prideful, quod, because, because why, septem filios et septem filias habebat. Now, the way that we translate habebat is was having, but that sounds a little strange in English, so you could say had. Just remember that this is an imperfect verb and not a perfect verb. So she was superba, prideful, because she was having, or because she had, septem filios, seven sons, and septem filias, seven daughters. Se et liberos suos laudabat. Laudabat is our verb here. It means was praising. Who was praising? She was praising. And who was she praising? Say herself. And suos liberos, her children. She would praise them, saying, here in quotes, causae superbia mei, non es potentia familiae edimicorum. So, causae superbia, the reason for my pride, um, non est, is not, and we can add in here, because of or um, that. So, the cause of my pride is not because of the potentia familiae, the power of my family, and of my friends, amicorum, said, but... And then here we're going to Liberorum Maorum of my children's fama of their fame or reputation or report. So the first paragraph should read, the poet Ovidus tells us the story of a goddess named Latona and a woman named Naobi. Naobi was the queen of the Thebes and she was very prideful. She was prideful because she had seven sons and seven daughters. She praised herself and her children, saying that the reason for my pride is not because of the power of my family and friends, but because of the good report or the good reputation of my children. Now that we've translated the first paragraph, you can go ahead and go on and translate the rest. Um, I wish you the best of luck, and we'll see you in the next interpretari.